Hello, hello! Ivytronic here, back with something different, but hopefully the first of many. The very first commentary slash gameplay video. And uh, yeah, right now the lineup right now is Mercenary, Seer, Female Dancer, and Prospector. And I'm playing right now as my favorite and main hunter as of now, Axe Boy. I can hear the beautiful terror shock and that does lead me to a good early game. Just put pressure now on the survivors to hopefully try to rescue Prospector. And uh, yeah, I'm just showing here what the survivors currently have and the setup I usually run. In large maps I usually try to run Blink and then Teleport. On short maps I would usually either run with Peepers and then if I still have the changing, like, uh, jump card. Depending on, like, the lineup of survivors, I would change it to either teleport, or if I'm just trying to secure kills, excitement or whatever. Again, depends on the lineup of survivors. Female dancer here, getting that beautiful stun and that save, but doesn't do much because I do eventually catch up to Prospector. He does try to kite me here for two story, but as you'll see momentarily, I do blink him. A bit of an unexpected blink, but it still worked out for me, so I'm not mad. <laughs> uh, it did work out, but I'm curious as to why the blink threw me two steps ahead from what I was originally thought I was going to blink into. This is Prospector's second time, and at this point, Mercenary is just gonna try and rescue. Uh, Cypher Machine is already down. I'm pretty sure Seer was the first one to finish the Cypher. And, uh, yeah. By the way, if you hear any noises, I do apologize, that's just my chair. And it is nighttime too, so you might hear some, like, insects or whatever outside, so. Now I do hit Mercenary here and he tries to go for the body block, but doesn't do much, still slide by, and I'm behind Prospector just making sure I do get that first kill. Second story is actually a good place to kite for an X-Boy, so if you're trying to avoid an X-Boy player, there, that's the secret right there. Another way you can avoid getting hunted by Axe Boy is by doing more so just transitional kiting. Just keep running. If you stay in one place, you'll eventually screw yourself over, and the Axe Boy can just get you with the flames or with his axe. Such a fun hunter to play as, though. I highly do recommend people play more as him because he's really, really great. He is my son, my pride and joy. And whenever I do have a chance to play as him, I always try to take that opportunity. I do know my strengths and weaknesses, however, and usually I only pick Axe Boy unless if I know I'm gonna take a tie or a win. And I also know which maps I work well as Axe Boy with. Leo's memory being one of them. Another big one for me is Arms Factory with Axe Boy. Female dancer trying her best here, but uh, wasn't really that good. I do have to commend this team of survivors though. They put up a pretty good fight, and if it wasn't for that uh, tragic um, early game for Prospector, it uh, would have been a tie. But since I got that terror shock, thankfully, uh, yeah, I'm having a pretty good game so far. Mercenary is going to try to go for the save again, and I think this time he's actually successful. But doesn't save before half, so if I do get Female Dancer down, that's it for her. Swing, bit too early there, but that's okay. I'll jump back. Right around here, she goes down. Get him, I get a female dancer with the nice flame. Oh, there she goes. So at this point, there's only two ciphers left. 
There's mercenary and Seer still alive, so they could definitely pull off with the tie. But they did not pull off with the tie. At this point, I teleport to Seer because I know he's trying to work on that cipher, and I'm just trying to prevent any work on any ciphers now. Do get him with the flame. And at this point, he's just trying his best not to get caught. Put a tree up because I know I'll be needing those flames soon again. Does a good job over here. Putting that pallet down. Preventing me from trying to get him. But. Doesn't matter, I eventually do catch up and I get him with the flame again. Now, if I wasn't taking this match seriously, seriously, uh, I would have just let the mercenary leave. But because this was a rank session at the time and this was me trying to get my first ever S tier badge, I really wanted to win. So, uh, yeah. I'm not gonna give them the luxury to leave. Mercenary tries to go for the save. And I just hit, cause I know I already messed up with the uh, flames. But that's okay, because both of the survivors are now within my distance. Here I'm just trying to make sure I get either or down at this point. I sadly missed with the flames. I don't know how I did, but it's alright. <laughs> Mercenary here trying to get me with a flashlight. I do hit him, and then I change my focus to Seer, so I make sure they don't go away that easily. The dungeon is also over there, so... If I do put anyone down, the person who could probably escape is probably Seer because he already knows now where the dungeon is. Now, instead of going for that shot with the flame, I instead used it for a speed boost because I thought it reached there in time. I should have probably aimed it more to the survivor. Maybe could have gotten that shot, but it's okay. At this point, I do sadly lose uh, Seer. Actually, no, not yet. I'm actually still in the chase. Uh, this time, make sure I get him down. At this point, Mercenary is still down. He's gonna get up pretty soon. I just make sure I just put the seer on the chair. This is his second time, so it is good to see. As of the recording of this match, I was a saber tooth hunter. These were like my last few matches as a saber tooth hunter. Um, the ranking I am now is Manicore, Manicore one. Hopefully, I can get Evil Dragon soon, but we'll just have to wait and see. At this point, I did see a survivor. I thought it was Seer, but it wasn't Seer. It was Mercenary. They did get the save, so pretty unfortunate. But that does mean that he already used up his uh, get up perk. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll be sure to remember the name <laughs> in like post recording. Uh, but uh, yeah, at this point, like I said, it is a pretty cut and clear victory for me. But I do want to get that four man. Seer's trying to work on a cipher. I'm just trying to currently see what Seer is doing. Thought for sure he was gonna work on a cipher so I could just teleport there, but nope. Said he's running away, so 
I just put mercenary on chat just to make sure it doesn't escape. Point, I'm just trying to figure out where in the world Seer might be. Uh, uh, these these two survivors in particular, they're very persistent in this match. Like I said, they could have easily gotten a tie because I, I was a bit more lenient. And I wasn't really there like securing my kills or anything. So that could cost you in a match if you're not careful enough. But because I'm kind of like comfortable or I know enough of my skills, I can pretty much bounce back if the situation was there. Okay, I'm just trying to scope out and see where these survivors went. They actually did beautiful here and leaving. Like I said, they could have gotten a tie, but I was just a bit more ready to get them down. This cypher was about to be popped. So I thought Mercenary was going to be there trying to finish it, but instead he actually found a syringe. And I think this is what cost him the uh, match here. Because I do eventually find out where he is when I get him down. I don't put him on chair though. Uh, I then go to Seer. But for now, I'm still trying to figure out where he is, and I found him right here. <laughs> get him with my flame. Uh, at this point, I don't really do much. Since I know Seer's decoding, I just immediately teleport there. And then that's it. Pretty much get Seer down here soon. And that's a GG for me. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Hopefully more will be coming soon. And uh, yeah.